If one of your angle of attack sensors lies mid-flight, Airbus might ignore it before you even notice. Boeing, it trusts you to spot the error and take action fast. The Airbus A321neo has three angle of attack vanes, and its flight computers constantly cross-verify them in real time if one freezes or suddenly spikes due to bird strike, moisture or ice. The system detects the anomaly and removes the faulty sensor from its logic. You'll get a caution, but the plane continues flying as if nothing happened. ECAM doesn't just show what went wrong, it explains the failure, confirms it with triple voting and gives a step-by-step -step checklist instantly. On the 737 MAX, there are just two AOA sensors. And if one starts feeding bad data, the aircraft won't know which one is wrong. It shows an AOA disagree alert on the primary flight display, but you won't get any automatic correction. The crew has to notice the problem manually, cross-check airspeed, pitch and attitude, then pull out the checklist to isolate the failure. No ECAM, no logic isolation, just pilot judgment. Airbus builds in redundancy and logic arbitration. Its flight computers are designed to vote out bad data before it affects flight control laws. It assumes the pilot might miss a subtle error, so it reacts first and tells you later. Boeing, especially in the 737 MAX, puts more trust in the crew's ability to detect and correct failures. It assumes you're actively monitoring and doesn't intervene unless instructed. This difference became critical in the early life. MCA, the Maneuvering Characteristics Augmentation System on the 737 MAX, was triggered by a single faulty AOA sensor. With no auto-arbitration, the system kept activating, causing uncommanded nose-down trim. Had there been a third sensor or auto-exclusion logic, the outcome could have been different. Airbus flight laws are designed to ignore rogue sensors automatically. Boeing assumed pilots would disconnect trim and manage the failure manually. So here's the real question. Would you rather have software that catches sensor lies before you do, or a system that says, your aircraft, your problem? Airbus equals triple check logic. Boeing equals human cross check. Which would you trust at 35,000 feet when one sensor goes rogue?